Some new details tonight about the background of a Minnesota state trooper charged in a deadly crash that killed a teenager in May. As our Karen Scullin reports, Trooper Shane Roper had been in four previous crashes. 18-year-old Olivia Flores was killed when Trooper Shane Roper's squad car ran into the Ford Focus she was riding in at a Rochester intersection. He was allegedly traveling at a high rate of speed with no lights or siren. The Flores family attorney saying he should have never been on the road with his history of speeding and crashes while on duty. Fox 9 obtained Shane Roper's eight-year personnel record that includes his crash history. In February of 2019, Roper crashed into another state patrol car while responding to a call. He received a letter of reprimand. In May of 2021, he blew through a stop sign and crashed into another vehicle. He was given a one-day suspension without pay. In December of 2021, Roper was driving to assist another department on a call when he hit a deer. He did not notify State Patrol he was assisting and did not log the event as required. GPS found he was going 77 in a 55 with no lights or siren and on an iced and snow-packed road. For this, he got a letter of reprimand. In April of 2023, Roper accelerated to catch up with a speeding driver, lost control and struck the median. He did not have his lights or siren activated. He got a one-day suspension without pay. The Minnesota Peace Officer Standards and Training, or POST, says it provides baseline training, and that as a general rule, you should have your lights and siren activated if you're in emergency mode and have traffic around you yield. But as far as speed, Post says that's a gray area. What are the road conditions, meaning weather conditions? What are the road conditions as far as is it a tight neighborhood? Is it a wide open interstate? Um, you know, is it uh, eight in the morning um, when schools are are going in session? Or is it at three in the morning when there's nobody on the street? Post requires eight hours of training every five years, but agencies have their own training too. For state patrol, troopers attend four days of internal training each year that includes emergency vehicle operations. But when it comes to post training, there is no talk of specific speeds officers should or shouldn't go. The ultimate evaluation of whether something, whether actions taken by an officer was done with due regard, or did it rise to recklessness or that sort of thing? That is, that's a question for um, the agency, um, the people who review the specific case and the, and the, the, the against policy, against uh, statute, um, and or in some cases, the criminal justice system. In the Rochester crash, Olivia Flores was killed, but five others were also injured. And that includes a law enforcement student who was riding with Roper at the time. Roper is due in court at the end of August. In the newsroom, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.